Okay, there's a new software load now. Um, the main changes to it are just uh, for the pitch preview. So if you don't use pitch preview, it's uh, not a big thing. You probably won't notice the change, but it never hurts to stay current. And there are some new presets that you might want to upload. And uh, there are also two new supported platforms for the librarian. This is the new librarian version seven. So here we are with all of the librarian files in a folder. And we're looking at the files in the folder and we see that there we have the Linux version, the Mac Intel version, the Mac M1, M2 version, the Windows version, and the new versions are an ARM64 build and an ARM32 bit build. So you can run the librarian on things like Raspberry Pis and things like that. All right, so so if we just run the command, we see the abbreviated help. Um, there's a new update command. That's an interactive menu that should help you do the update to make it uh, less cryptic and easier to do without like having to follow a video like this one. Um, there uh, is a new match command and that takes the place of the s to b and the uh, um, slots commands which are gone now because it, it does uh, what those used to do um, you can compare now uh, two different directories of um, preset files you can compare um, yeah uh, the slots and a directory of files uh, like that you can also use it to um, kind of take a guess at kind of what's there so with the dash g guess uh, flag okay um also there's a batch uh, command now that's more uh well it's 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 um it's been here for a while but um, now it's a uh, documented command there's a much safer knob command that lets you um, offset or set the value of any knob on the the dlev and uh, version and acal and reset are all um, explicit commands now too, so you don't have to use the, the HCL commands to do that. So um, for this uh, video, um, I loaded up the version of the software and presets that were uh, last released, uh, the end of January. So uh, and then I'm going to go through the update process just to show you how that works. So we'd say update. Yeah. And you can see that we have then um, a menu. And we haven't quit the program yet. It, it's a, it keeps you in the program while you're doing all of these things. So zero, if we pick zero and hit enter, we see the readme file right here. So if you want to update the software and update all of the presets in your slots without getting rid of them, you just do steps up here one through seven. If you want to update the software and overwrite all the presets, then you do 1 through 3 and then 9. If you want to do like a factory reset, you do 1, 2, and 10. And um, you can also, if you want to convert all of your presets to mono, you would do 1, 2, 4, 8, 6 in that order. And if you run into trouble um, in, in step two here we're doing a backup of the eeprom file so you can always exit um, this menu system and just do um, a pump of that file and uh, that should get you back to the back to square one where you started so there's no danger if you do step two there's uh, and successfully there's no danger of um, you know losing what you have and if you uh, if the if you get an unresponsive uh, thing like if the serial port hangs you can always do a control C so um, I want you to be aware of that so all through this menu um, the valid prompt responses you have to type Y and then enter to do to answer yes you can just hit enter for no and if you enter Q then it'll completely quit the program so so we're gonna go through steps one through uh, seven to do the update so we'll do one first, and this checks the serial port. 
tells it's telling us our uh, our current zero port is one, and that's correct. Um, I'll say we want to change it just so you can see that and watch me change it. So I'll say yes. And what do you want? What port do you want? Our choices are zero and one. We're already in one. I'm going to pick zero. Do you want to test it? I don't want to test it because it's going to hang. So I'll say no. And I'll set it back to what it should be. I'll set it to one. And this time I'll check it. I'll test it. Um, oops. Yes. Okay. So we tested it, and it tells us that uh, port one seems to be okay. So that's cool. Okay, now we can do a backup. It says, "Do you want to back up your entire DLove to this file here? This uh, it's the date and the time, and it's uh, extension eprom." We'll say yes. So it's it's backing up everything here. Just we want to do this just for safety. Okay. And it tells us it dumped it to the file, so it was successful. So now um, we can check this, the software by using option three. So it's telling us what our current version is here, and it's telling us that the software is old. You may want to update it. And do we want to update it with this file? We say yes. Now, see, um, if your software is older than this, it'll tell you that you can't update your soft, you can't update your presets with this librarian. And you would have to either overwrite all of your presets, or um, you can contact me, and I might be able to help you uh, do the upgrade um, in a series of other steps. All right. So, but we're going to do the software update. So it's uploading this by file now. This uh, this by file right here. I noticed this is a, a lot faster on a Macintosh. I'm not sure why. This is a Linux box. Right. Okay, so it uploaded the software, and we'll go. We can check it if we want to, but um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure it did it. But we can run uh, three again. It says your current, your software is current, and it passed the CRC check. So that's cool. So now, step four. What this will do is download all of our presets in the slots on the DLAV to a working directory. We'll say sure. Okay, so it downloaded the, them to a pre-file and then it split the pre-file to a bunch of numbered files. Okay, now we want to update all of the, the ones that we downloaded to this work directory. So we'll say five. Do we want to update them? Yes. Okay, so it processed two out of 250. It only had to update two of them. So you can go back up here and see which ones it, um, it updated. And there, there's one of them right there. It adjusted the preview, the pitch preview. So the rest of them is no changes. Okay, so we've done our update. And then uh, now we can upload them using step six, where we overwrite all of the slots with these updated presets. We'll say yes. And this is really slow, so I'm going to snip this part out. OK, so it pumped up the pre-file after it joined them all together. So that's successful. Now all we have to do is step seven, which will upload the latest new preset files. So here's the list of the latest new presets. And it says, do you want to examine your current slots? We'll say yes, because we want to know where to put them. OK, so here's all of our slots right now. And it looks like we could start them here at 140, because that's the first uh, blank one. And that's uh, the way the kits are going to, from now on, are we going to be shipping with them starting there at 140. So if you want to stay kind of coherent with the kits, then um, you should do this at 140. So yes, we do want to upload them. What, start, what slot do we want to start at? 140. 
Right, so it's uploading the the new presets starting at 140. Okay. And if we want to check to see if that's the way it worked out, we you do seven again. And we do want to examine. Okay, so you can see 140 Strixie Home, Turner Home, and we got Pat, and Andre, and Tony up here. And we don't want to upload because we already did that. Okay, so you saw how to do an update using the new update menu. Um, there, you can also, like I said, you can also convert all the presets in the work directory to mono and upload those if you want to. Um, and the, the readme will tell you, readme you saw tells you how to do that. And if you want to do a factory reset, you do, you know, one, two, and ten. So let's quit this. And uh, I guess that's kind of it. All right, thanks for watching.